الله وبركاته والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Well, it's not easy to come and talk about your success and achievement. And I was a bit hesitant when the, the organizers asked me or gave me the uh, invitation to talk about uh, my story or my journey of success. But when I knew the idea behind it and the reason of Ted Muscat, I came with happiness. First of all, why I'm here? I'm here to give you a humble, a humble example of a Nomani woman in the medical scientific research field that, to inspire the youth that success is possible when there is a will. Because I'm a strong believer that re women are capable wherever they are, especially Omani women, to give unlimited wherever she found. And she proved herself in economics, politics, medical, education, everywhere. And definitely, success doesn't come by chance and by luck. And challenges should be the driving force rather than putting us off. Well, well in, during this journey, I'll show you several photos that I took uh, from Australia while I was studying there, my master and PhD. Little bit about my childhood dreams and model in life. I was born in a family that values education and science. Uh, I have two brother, one sister and one brother who are doctors also, and three of my brothers uh, hold a master degree. Since I was uh, very young, I love research, and I always play as a doctor. And I am a strong believer that research is the most important component to build a nation. My dad is my example for success, passion, and ambition. He is my model in life. And since I was very young, he was always teaching us that education and qualification what will be the most important thing in your life, not anything else. This is the university I studied in Australia, University of Adelaide. A little bit about my dream goals. I had my bachelor degree from Sultan Qaboos University in, uh, in uh, medical laboratory science. And then I went to Australia in 2004. I did my master of medical science and then I continued with PhD in medicine. And last year also I took a diploma in management. And definitely after uh, the PhD, I'm planning to continue the scientific research and recently appointed as a director of research and study in Ministry of Health. Well, now I'll talk a little bit about the research that I won the award from the Australian Society for Medical Research as the most outstanding uh, research in clinical, uh, in clinical research which is basically about leukemia. And the motivation for me, my, one of my, the youngest brother actually died from cancer. So I was always telling why till now with advanced medical technology, with advanced uh, uh, science, till we didn't reach to a cure for cancer. And that was the main question which I was always asking myself. When we talk about leukemia, which is the field that I studied, leukemia, as all of you know, most of the patients with current chemotherapeutic options provide essentially no chance for durable remission. And you know, all of you, the chemotherapy and the side effects of chemotherapy is too high. And most of the patient, almost more than half of the patient die from this disease. And the long-term survival only 10%. Uh, I'll make, just to make the research idea simpler for those who are away from the medical field. If you look at this beautiful tree, if you want to get rid of this beautiful tree, if you cut it from the stem, there is a big chance that the tree will grow back again. But if you want to get rid totally, or a plate, or eradicate the, the tree, then you need to extract it from the root. And it's exactly the same picture for cancer in general, and specifically leukemia. What currently the chemotherapy is doing is uh, er uh, getting rid of the blast population, which is at this, at, at this stage, at the uh, stem stage. But actually what we need to do is looking at the roots or the stem cells. So can, the question was, can we define and separate these leukemic cells? The question is not too simple. What is defining these stem cells and why till now we cannot separate them? It's a mixture of normal stem cells and leukemic stem cells. Why till now we cannot separate them? So a little bit, 
So we need to define unique properties for these leukemic stem cells, which will be able then, possibly, to design more effective therapeutic strategy to target these stem cells and therefore eradicate them and cure the disease. That, that the idea is simple, but till now we don't have a marker to define these stem cells. So can we define them? A little bit about stem cells for those who are not aware of uh, stem cells. These are very rare uh, stem cell-like population. Presented new, new question as a biology of leukemia, relapse, and res resistance. These are very rare in terms like 150 or sometimes 15 cells in your like 40 million cells. So it's not easy also to get them. And these cells actually are the cells, if we can say, they are like a mother, where they have the self renewal, proliferative capacity, differentiating capa capa capability. These are available in the G0 phase, these are the dividing cells. But what currently chemotherapy is doing is killing the cells that on the surface, which we can call the daughter, they don't have the other non-dividing cells, they don't have the capability to divide again and uh, grow the disease. So leukemic stem cells population are the most, most difficult uh, fraction to eradicate. And unfortunately, there are very few studies in that field to define them and to separate them. So, these stem cells survive the chemotherapy and grow out to cause relapse of the disease. So, for any leukemia and, and in general, for cancer, for any therapy to be curative, it needs to be effective against these cells that sustain and initiate the disease. Uh, I'll not go deep into the research and what I did in four years, because I think uh, it's not the place, but just after almost four years of continuous researching, we were able to define a unique marker, which is AL3 alpha receptor CD123, which is found on these leukemic stem cells and not normal stem cells. And we were able to differentiate and sorting these cells, and we proved, of course, this was done by a high sensitive technique where you can detect one leukemic or abnormal malignant cells in the background of 10 million, in 1 million cells or 100,000 cells by flow cytometry and uh, molecular biology and cell sorting. We proved that these are the leukemic cells by genetic testing. So in summary, this novel finding provides a rationale for treatment involving this marker which we identify targeting these stem cells. As I showed you earlier, we need to define a marker. So we defined that marker, we sorted these cells, we proved that these are leukemic stem cells, and then now we need to find a target to target these leukemic stem cells, and then we don't need any chemotherapy. Now why this finding is so important? Because it will open up new area for targeted therapy using monoclonal antibody or any other. It will give a hope for cure for all acute leukemia specifically and cancer in general will be able to know those who has higher chance of reoccurrence of the disease and those who have less chance of relapse. And of course, targeted therapy based on monoclonal will, avoid, will be exactly on the target and will not need the chemotherapy and all of you know the side effects of the chemotherapy and how expensive it is. By using targeted therapy, it will save off the time, money, resources, and it will be directly on the target we will be able to get uh, rid of it. So most importantly, that targeted therapy will be directed against these stem cells, which will in turn will enable us to avoid chemotherapy and the side effects of chemotherapy. And not on the blast population, which is uh, the daughters of the uh, uh, population, but on the root or uh, the um, target uh, population that initiate the leukemia. Well, now a little bit about my story. Success not by luck, not by chance. Well, it didn't come uh, in a day or a night. It was after hard studying, patience, persistence, and sleep at nights. I was working sometimes from 10 to 16 hours, and some experiments took me one month, starting from sometimes from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m., continuously only five minutes breaks, and at the end, I failed after one month, and that was like, there were very boring days, and I have reached to a stage where I felt I want to quit, I cannot continue. And I became, so at some stage I was sick, but I believe that success is born from the womb of failure, and failure is actually, was the point when I reached to failure, at some point I was emailing different scientists in different parts of the world, I know where was exactly the mistake, so that was 
leading me to think of different ways and different approaches. And I believe that we will not taste the sweet unless you know the taste of bitter. So these were uh, days of challenges. And at that time, I had a boy who was two years old, and I was leaving him in the child care for uh, almost eight, sometimes nine hours. But this will not last long. And I was believing that there will be one day where I'll be, he will be proud of his mom. And uh, it was nothing like the success moment when I got an A with worthy of special commendation. Thank you. And it was like feeling a moment which I cannot forget when I read in the comment of the final report uh, from the external examiner that this is the best doctoral dissertation he ever examined. And joy after tears. <laughs> now, <laughs> now, several people asked me what is the secret of success. And I know myself, I'm a very uh, hardworking person. When I want something, I believe my motto in life is nothing is impossible. So sincerity, seriousness, and I believe in organization and advanced planning, setting the goals and everything, and insist whatever the challenge, there will be a way. And whoever poses the desire, nothing will be able to stop him or her. So what we need actually to do is to define our goals and direct goal that we want to reach. And once we know what we want to do, we have to find in ourselves what is the key to the strength and the weakness. The road of success is full of deviation, so we have to be very focused and only focused and concentrate on what we, the main target is. And it, the road will be full of challenges and obstacles. It's not, the road was not full of roses. And till now, when I remember Australia, I always I remember it with pain because there were days where I really struggled. But then, nothing like this moment. Uh, Alhamdulillah, I was awarded uh, last year Al Mar'a Woman Excellence Award. Uh, also, I got uh, the 2007 Clinical Research Award for the most outstanding clinical research at the South Australian meeting. Uh, I was winner for the best presentation, hematology and blood transfusion at Oman International Conference in Laboratory Medicine. I uh, was selected also as one of the 40 super achievers uh, in uh, Jules of Oman and awarded recently a fund for leukemia research to continue on uh, the PhD question from the Research Council, nominated for Prince Mahidol Award and also for the World Health Organization Award in the Middle East. This is when I was awarded uh, the Women Excellence Award in Health Sector. Let the photos talk. And this was uh, published also in one uh, of the Australian Lumen mag magazine under title East Meet, Meets West for Cancer Researcher. Uh, I managed to publish uh, several papers in international journals uh, about this research. Uh, one was in the International Journal of Laboratory Hematology and I'm telling you, it was not easy at all to publish a paper in indexed uh, journal. And uh, it was rejected several times, the first paper that I got it accepted. But I have that uh, strength that I'll keep sending it, keep modifying it till I can get it uh, accepted. But then it was the first experiment for me. The second paper was published in the American Journal of Clinical Pathology and it was accepted from the first time. The third one again in American Journal of Clinical uh, Pathology as first author in all of them. And this is in cytometry or clinical cytometry, which is the top journal in the field flow cytometry. I uh, managed to, uh, to present this work in several conferences, International Society for Analytical Cytometry in Hungary, also in Spain. Uh, and this is not a proud for me or for my family. Actually, this is proud for whole Oman, being an Omani, being a Muslim, and presenting my country. That was really, uh, 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 alhamdulillah. Now, coming back home and hopes, this, uh, my hopes are to complete the process of scientific research in Oman, development of medical laboratories in Oman, and participating in high quality standards in medical laboratory comparable to those in developed 
countries, definitely uh, obtain a highly qualified master and PhD researcher, researcher to continue the process of uh, researching. Being away from home, I learned a lot. I mean, being away is not uh, from your family, from entertainment, so uh, it's bitter, but it teaches you a lot of values. I learned one important thing in my life, time is very valuable and every minute counts. Human is very precious and you need to plan in everything. Clarity of goals and how to pursue them, patience, and you have to adjust and adapt to other cultures. And to be assured that science and education is a deep ocean. And no matter how you reach, be assured that you are still on the surface. And definitely, people do not reach the pinnacle of success without going through failure and despair, and only those who are strong will be able to reach the apex. As I said before, the coming is better. We got a fund recently from the Research Council for a three years project, continuing in the same thing. Now we are defining the, uh, once we separate post-chemotherapy, once we separate, separate hypothesizing that the presence of these leukemic, leukemic stem cells uh, present, uh, the, the, the quantity will not change post chemotherapy because chemotherapy is not targeting these cells. And uh, finally, when there is a will, I will conclude my presentation, there is always a way. And I will say, like Leonardo da Vinci, obstacles cannot crush me, and every obstacle yields to stern resolve. Thank you.